Konnichiwa. You are Kansai Buddy no Hide desu. Today I'm here at Nara Station. Nara Station is about one hour train ride from Osaka Station and Kyoto Station. And it's such a beautiful area with its rich culture and history. There is so much to see around this area, so you might get confused which ones are the best to visit. So today I made this trip plan where you can enjoy this area fully experiencing everything of Japan. Shrines and temples, Japanese food, and Japanese traditional confectioneries, and green tea, and a little bit of sake to drink at night. At the end of this video, I have a useful tool to give you, so be sure to watch until the end. Onegaishimasu! In this channel, I introduce day trip plans where you can experience the Japanese culture in Kansai. So if you're living in Japan and want to enjoy the culture to the fullest, let me help you as your Kansai buddy. The first temple we'll see is Kōfukuji. It's a world heritage site. Among the seven biggest temples in Nara, Kōfukuji Temple has the closest relationships with the Nara town and ended up developing the most. Although it's been burned down several times, it's been preserving the appearances since about 1,300 years before. With its many national treasures, it's one of the must-see spots in Nara. Very useful map. Take a screenshot if you want. Ah, it's massive. Unfortunately, you can't see these two buildings closely since they are now under construction. Nandaning. Nara Park houses the famous temples and shrines and 1,300 deers. What he's eating is called shikasenbe. He stole some rice cracker from deers. If you bow to them, they usually bow you back, but he never bowed back to me. Nande? Make sure to only feed them shikasenbe. Other than that, they can be sick. They are so cute. He got tricked. He looked mad. And I found some sleeping deers. They're just so adorable. And now I'm going to Todaiji. Known for its Daibutsu-san, it's the most iconic temple in Nara. The Great Buddha sits in this wooden building that's one of the biggest ones in the world. In 943, about a thousand two hundred years ago, the emperor at the time wished for all living things to prosper and decided to build this Great Buddha. Then after 9 years, 752, it was completed. I was about to sneeze. Just like Kofukuji Temple, it also has many national treasures to see on top of the Great Buddha. The 
this is a huge bell. You should definitely see this. One of Nara's delicacies, chagayu, tea porridge. I've never had it before, so I really wanted to try it out today. Then I found this restaurant that's located at the perfect spot in between Todaiji Temple and Kasuga Taisha. Not only the chagayu, they also give you local fermented vegetables. They have many varieties of menu, but this is what I want to get. It looked so good. And warabi mochi, vegetables, some vegetables, vegetables, and um, vegetables. <laughs> Healthy food. Although I burned my tongue a little bit, just a little bit, I love the subtle and simple taste of it. If you order the set menu, you also get this warabi mochi, one of my favorite Japanese confectionaries. Now I'm heading to the shrine called Kasuga Taisha. It's the head shrine of 3,000 shrines in all of Japan. It's one of the most historic shrines in Japan, so let's go. On the way to the Kasuga Taisha shrine, I found this small shrine where the kami helps your one dream come true. And I made this wish. I wish to enjoy Kansai trip with people connected with your Kansai buddy. Let's make it come true, guys. I hung my plate at the bottom left. Let me know if you find it. Every 20 years, they have been replacing the shrine structures to keep them clean and stable, and they have done it 60 times before. The shrines that have done it more than 60 times are only this Kasuga Taisha Shrine and Ise Shrine in Mie. You'll instantly be amazed by its beautiful building structures. Alright, now I'm heading to the final temple today, Gangoji, one of the world heritages in Nara. On the way to the place from Kasuga Taisha, there's uh, this area called Nara Machi, where you can see all these wooden traditional Japanese houses. And in this area, Nara Machi, there's so many Japanese traditional confectionery shops. I found so many good looking places that I want to visit but I've picked four places and added to my list today. We'll be visiting those four places later, so let's first see Gangoji. Ikimashou! Being one of the four world heritages in this area, Gangoji Temple seems to stand alone quietly in this small area. But actually, it was so huge that the Naramachi area was said to be the part of Gangoji Temple. I loved how peaceful it is. Thank you. 
Based in Naramachi, Nigiwai no Ie offers you an experience to see what the old lifestyle was like. This experience definitely gives you a chance to feel a different world from the modern day. And on the second floor, you'll also see the tea ceremony room. I had to go through this small tunnel. Dedicated to serving confectionery with best treated ingredients, they prepare the red bean paste taking the whole day clean and simmer the beans, and they let it rest for another day, and finally make the best conditioned confectionery. Best place to relax after a long walk in the peaceful and clean room. I ordered matcha set with confectionery and a little small deer snack. You rotate the ball two times, so you can avoid drink it from the front side of the cup. That is to show your humbleness to the owner of the cup. Everything was so good. I was getting tired of walking too much, so in this place restored my energy. After going through this shopping street called Mochido no Center Gai, you'll see the next spot, Mansho Do. Picking one of the highest ranked ingredients, red beans from Hokkaido and well known brand sugar, Wasanbon, they've been making confectionery for more than 130 years. With many varieties of confectionery, they have this huge dorayaki, red bean pancake. And this is what I wanted to get from the shop. Oh my god, this thing is huge. I got us. Yeah. Come on. People keep looking at me. Because I have this huge make stuff. I'm getting I gave up the rest of the two places. <laughs> I'm gonna keep the half of breakfast tomorrow and head to the next place where I'm gonna eat drink some sake. Eat it was. From many kinds of sake, you can try various kinds for only 100 yen. The owner proudly chooses the sake kinds and goes to fish markets every morning. 3 a.m. That's crazy. Putting all his energy and resources to make delicious meals, he makes great fish dishes that go super well with sake. Of course, all the sake were so delicious, and I ordered some sashimi. And then I invited him to drink with me. Usually he doesn't drink when he's working, so don't worry. He's very, very enthusiastic for cooking and sake. 
This place is open until 7 p.m. usually, so I definitely recommend this place to enjoy great food and great sake and great owner. It was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching until the end. As I promised at the beginning of this video, here's what I wanted to give you. Boom. I made a downloadable travel guide that you can use during your trip. It's always very hard to explore a new area and it's so easy to get lost. I wanted to help you guys with it so you can feel relaxed and enjoy your trip to the fullest. It has the access information to the area by public transportation, simplified map. You can also add the spots on your Google map with just one tap. A module trip plan, descriptions for each spot, and manners in shrines and temples. Sometimes I even forget manners in shrines and temples, so I believe this is going to be very useful for you. Be my friend online app and type up the area name. Then I'll give you this travel guide right away. Of course, it's free. Mario desu. Alright, guys, I'll be waiting for your online app. Hona, mata imashou.